You know, the best way to diagnose fuel delivery problems is to check the fuel pressure and the fuel volume. But when you find one of those low, well, then you still don't know if you have to get into the fuel tank and look at the fuel pump, or maybe it's the filter or the pressure regulator, or do we have to look in the electrical system? And so here's a trick that I use to help me figure out which way to go in my diagnostics. I'm going to current wrap the fuel pump using an amp clamp and I'll show you how I hook it into the system to make this quick and easy diagnostics work for me. The idea is to connect your amp clamp around the wire that goes from the power supply to the fuel pump and sometimes they're a little hard to get at so what I'm going to do today is replace the relay with the jumper wire and connect the amp clamp around the jumper wire. Let me show you how I do that. First of all locate the relay in the fuse compartment. Here it is right here. We'll pull it out and then look on the relay and you get a schematic and you'll find out which pins we need. In this particular case you can see it's pin 30 and pin 87. So we're going to connect those two pins together. That'll turn the fuel pump on and then with our amp clamp around that jumper wire we'll be able to read the current across the commutators of the fuel pump. I like to use these jumper wires with the wide spade terminals on them and they'll fit nicely down into the to the terminals for the sockets where the relay went. Now when I connect these two wires together, the fuel pump will run and we'll be able to connect a ramp clamp up to that, just like so. And we're ready to do some testing. On some vehicles, it may be a little bit hard to get at the circuit that you want a current ramp. So you might want to use a device like this. This one's called the Fuse Buddy. And uh, what you'll do is locate the fuse for the circuit that you want a current ramp and pull the fuse out and put it in the Fuse Buddy. And then plug this device into where the fuse was and now all we have to do is connect our amp clamp and continue with our testing. Now with my current probe, my low amp clamp set to the 20 amp position, just connect the jumper wires together and I can hear the fuel pump run and then look at your oscilloscope screen, set that up so you could read the waveform. In this particular case I have my time set at one millisecond per division and my amperage at two amperage uh, per division of current and once I get a nice pattern on there, I'll hit the freeze so I can show you how to set this up to count the RPM or calculate the RPM of the fuel pump. Now, since most electric fuel pumps have eight commutator segments, what we're going to want to do is set our cursors so that we've got eight commutator segments set between the cursors so we can calculate the RPM. So I'm going to turn my cursors on and we'll set the first vertical cursor to just before the peak of the commutator segment ramping up and then we'll set our second vertical cursor so we've got eight segments in between. Well now that I've got my eight commutator segments bracketed between the vertical cursors I can see that the frequency is about 111 Hertz so you multiply that by 60 and that gives you about uh, 6600 RPM. Now uh, most fuel pumps with, on a vehicle like this with a fuel pressure regulator uh, run at about uh, six or 7,000 RPM. So we can see that we're well within range. But check the vehicle's uh, specifications on fuel pumps because some vehicles use a pulse width modulated signal to actually change the RPM of the fuel pump which changes the pressure and the volume. So be sure you check the uh, manufacturer specifications of the vehicle that you're working on. But today we can see that the fuel pump is running fast enough is probably not the cause of our pressure problem. We're going to look at the uh, fuel pressure regulator, going to look at the fuel filter, you know, that type of thing. So use your current probe, do some current ramping to give you a quick idea of which way we're going to go with this repair. Is it mechanical or is it electrical?